Misfits Boxing. Let's take a look at this. Aiden calls out Misfits Boxing. Let's take a look at this. I know Aiden is running Brand Risk Boxing. He's doing down in Miami. Now, granted, you guys know I did not want to be a part of the second event because of kind of the stipulations around it. Everybody's doing their thing. I've learned in this scene, and, and shout out to Vidal, sometimes it's better for me just not say anything, sit back and kind of control what I can control, unless things are absolutely necessary to be said. I know everybody is doing events like this now. You know, HS is doing them. Aiden's doing them. I know Dean just got back on his his street fight event stuff. So people are doing their thing. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I don't have any beef with anybody though. At least I don't think so. If he if he makes it sanctioned, I'm on board, bro. 100%. I'm with it. All they'd have to do is go to the State of Florida Athletic Commission, get a license. You have actual coaches, testing, weigh-ins, all that stuff. It's a lot, but they could do it. You know what I'm saying? They could do it. All his fighters would fail the drug tests. Well, it's in Florida, uh, and, and the Florida Commission is, is notoriously known for being a little bit more, you know, lax, depending on where where uh, who's fighting and what the, the actual experience is. That's why a lot of the creator stuff is in Florida. That's why Triller was in Florida. They sanctioned Creator Clash 1 and 2, you know what I'm saying? And granted, Creator Clash did a way better job of, like, getting people ready and having actual training and, you know, medicals, da-da-da, but... I think Aiden would have the funds to be able to do it, yeah. But let's take a look at what Aiden had to say about Misfits Boxing here. It wasn't KSI directly, but someone from Misfits talked mad shit about me. They were like, don't do Aiden Ross's boxing event. It's it's like not going to do good or some shit. Someone from Misfits said that. Kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. But it's funny because Misfits also offered, they told someone from Misfits also said, yo, Tav, age to stream the prelims. Like, fuck out of here. Sorry, they scared, chat. Watch what Brand Rest Promotions does. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch. It's cool, bro. I got it. Yo, chat, I got this. I swear to God, I got this. Just know that Aiden hears everything, bro. I swear to God, I got this. It wasn't... Oh, man. Here's the thing. I don't think that you want to make an enemy out of Aiden Ross in the influencer boxing scene. Partly because of how many relationships he has with big names in influencer boxing. Also because... Steak is a massive sponsor of Misfits, but it doesn't seem like I'm not I don't know what was said or who was said what it doesn't seem like anything disrespectfully was said other than well, what he said. Hey, don't do Aiden's event. It's not going to do good. I mean, I don't know about that, but regardless, I would think that it was probably around the outs idea of HS Tiki Taki. Was he not supposed to do Aiden's event? If HS was supposed to do an Aiden event and they told him not to, then that makes sense. You know, they wanted him on the card. I was going to say this. It's not that Aiden's events aren't going to do numbers. The motherfucker was pulling in like almost 300,000 concurrent on his last event. He was pulling numbers. It's just right now without sanctioning, it probably is not the greatest look for a company like Misfits that you know, does have sanctioning, da da da. But it's also potentially competition. I'm not saying that Misfits is scared of or whatever, but Aiden has the funding and the name value to be able to potentially put some stuff on here. And if he does get sanctioning and it's stake and kick promoting Aiden's event or sponsoring, I should say, Misfits event, I'm pretty sure they're going to go with their own guy. That would be interesting to see like what would happen if Aiden actually got sanctioning. Because Misfits is far and away more organized as of right now. They have structure. They have a great boxing mind there with Callie Sauerland doing some of their business. So this would be different with Aiden, I think. It'd be a lot different. I don't think Aiden would be able to compete with the sheer roster size, name value wise right now. But he's got close, close relationships, man with some of the biggest names in the industry. Let's say Speed wanted to fight or Kai wanted to fight and Aiden was like, and Aiden did get sanctioning, right? That's the big That's the big thing. If Aiden can get sanctioning, this could be something real. And they got like a legit real event and they, you know, it, again, it would be a lot of stuff. You gotta get the venue, you have to be able to promote it. You have to be able to have the right people in place security wise, all that stuff. It would be interesting to see if those guys, if they if they did want to fight, and we're, it's a lot of ifs, if Aiden could get them on board. The only thing I don't think Aiden will have trouble with, or I shouldn't say the only thing, but one of the things I think he'd be very good at is the promotion of it. He's got a team over there. They do a great job as far as like putting eyes on the product. They don't, I don't think they need much help with that. Maybe just some video editors or, you know, someone said the Blood Brothers potentially. Outside of that, man, this this could be interesting if Aiden really commits to it. I don't know how committed he is to making this a full-fledged promotion. More so than just like, hey, let's let's once a month do a, a fight night here in the in the in the warehouse. But if he if he commits to it, there's a lot of money on that side. And money solves a lot of problems.
Here's an interesting thought too, man. Something I've always said could potentially fix influencer boxing, at least with the whole issue with pay-per-view and not being able to generate a pay-per-view audience. One of the big things I always thought would, would help is if you could stream the fights free on YouTube and try to recoup the value of what you would get from pay-per-view with loading the card with advertisements. You saw Creator Clash try to do something like this, but it could be interesting to see because ticket sales would be massive. Some big brands being involved, even though... <laughs> Aiden is brand risk promotions. That's that's the issue. But it would be the first test in seeing like how could you recoup value if you even needed to. Because I know that again, stake being a massive massive financial backer. But how could you recoup value with the free model using more advertisement money and using more in ring advertisement or uh, like someone like myself on commentary reading the ad read or I don't know I think it could be interesting that's that's the way I think it's it's the best way for influencer boxing to go the only problem is the media platforms that would put on these events like a YouTube or a Twitch uh, usually don't like promoting fighting as a company right YouTube has an issue with putting boxing on and, and throwing ads on it having it live because of the potential issues that come from that so kick might be the one place where that would work a guy like uh liam chivers would know a lot about this i bring up liam because i've talked with him about this many times a guy like keemstar would know about this somebody with knowledge of how to put on this event for free on kick on aiden's channel potentially but also have some advertisement in the back end to bring up value and recoup cost with the financial backing he has if he got sanctioning if he did it right could be very interesting because we don't have a real hardcore u.s base for influencer boxing like we do in the uk if aiden came out and did checked all those boxes and did it right you could plant the flag in the ground and be like here's the x number of whatever that i we're doing over here we'll see though it would take him i think it would take him a while do you think aiden will have to host these events in his warehouse or an arena well that's the thing if he really wants to get sanctioning behind this like somebody had said earlier then he's gonna have to do it in a public place right in a venue that yeah so i guess we have the back story to that you know Yo, what's up, what's up that's only because you need to have the ring inspected right it needs to be a certain qualification on the size of the ring the ropes what the rings made out of all that it's all going to lead to a forbidden door type thing well here's the thing it seems like there's another part of this that we're, we're i think people miss listen okay, to this. Not directly but someone from misfits talked mad shit about me they're like don't do aiden ross's boxing event it's it's like not gonna do good or some shit someone from misfits said that kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie but it's funny because Misfits also offered, they told someone from Misfits also said, yo, Tav, age to stream the prelims. That right there sounds like a Mams Taylor thing. I'm not going to sit here and accuse, but that would, that seems like something Mams would, would do, which is smart business, by the way. And I know that Mams, or at least I can infer that Mams has communication with Tav because remember when KSI did the stream with Aiden, they got Jake to come into the stream. Someone was telling Tav to take Jake out of the stream while they were there because it was KSI's time and Jake shouldn't, and fair play. I think that was Mams. So I assume that they've already had some communication there. And I don't think Kylie Sauerland is like <laughs> reaching out to Tav and be like, hey, what's going on? That's probably Mams. Which again, I, I, this is the thing that he offered Keemstar with Happy Punch. But let's be honest, Aiden can, can do this by himself. Which I, again, I get Mams trying to make that a working relationship and offering him the prelims. But Aiden's also smart to say no. Mams saying don't do the event is completely fine as well. If, you, if you're going to fight on Misfits and Mams wants that whatever whoever he was talking about mams wants that event to run on his or mams wants that fight on his event then of course he's gonna say don't go and do aiden's event as he should he's trying to host the biggest and best in influencer boxing it's business all right it's business citrus told aiden that ksi's manager told him to take him out the call okay yeah so cue the mams taylor tweet yeah i'm sure it'll be coming but there's that man listen long story short on this whole th uh, okay 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 let me read this let me look at this uh, Dean the Great. I think this is and a boxing promotion and a fight on Aiden Ross stream. Yeah, I think this is the guy. He's being trying to be sued for appearing at Aiden's place. Nor Dean Dean the Great. Is he Muslim? Tell me, Muslim. YouTuber turned boxer. Yo, all these people are like, caught up, like, beefing over this, that shit crazy. Crazy.
crazy how Adam, I'm not getting paid for it, and Misfits trying to sue me. But he's doing it for free. That's crazy. Okay. Adam Saleh set the box. Uh, okay. Be ready, bro. Be ready, bro. Oh, you just his mom? You smell like a bitch. You look like a bitch. You dress like a bitch. Everything about Yo, Aiden, tell him to bring all his fake belts he got. Me, I'm tired as fuck, Yo. Free Tory facts. Wait, but Dean, you, why, why'd you say fuck his mom? What does mom do? No, 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 mom. no, no, no. I, I, I won't go that far. My mom, you little bitch. Uh-oh, not. Shut up, Okay. I said your mom know you a bitch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. W Dean then. All right, all right, all right, good, good. I ain't gonna disrespect a nigga parents, but. All right, W. That's good sportsmanship then. Okay, cool. made ass bitch. <laughs> All right, so I get it. Uh, okay. Uh, Jake Paul for pointing out the irony of KSX promotion done and Dean for participating. He has far. What's his name? Darren? I think all this was covered in the video we just watched. But apparently, Aiden Ross is some gang songs. Uh, not as a So guys, I'm being sued by Misfits. I'm being sued by KSI's boxing uh, event. This is real. I wouldn't be on IG Live. Somebody was waiting out. I'm going to go to the warehouse right now, and I'm going to show you guys the picture they served me. They served me basically a notice. I got served, I got served today by Misfits. Misfits served me because they're insecure, and they can't let me do my own thing. So that is crazy as fuck, and I really, really just, I, it's just sad, bro. Like, this is just, honestly, sad. I just woke up, bro. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Misfits, come on, get it together, bro. Get it, I'm just a streaming kid, bro. I'm not a real multi-billion dollar, million dollar fucking organization. I don't know what the fuck's going on, bro. I just want to see my fight. And I see one of my fuckers get knocked the fuck out, and that's that. But if you want to have people in tuxedos and shit wait outside my warehouse and serve me fucking paperwork, that is that is just gay, bro. Flat out gay. It is gay as fuck, bro. But hey, misfits, do your own fucking thing. I'm still. You gotta understand. I'm Jewish, bro. You're gonna have to fight with my Jewish lawyers. You UK British shitty ass lawyers are not gonna be able to fuck with mine. So let's go. Now I'm really doing this fucking event. I don't give a fuck. We're doing this event now. I'm gonna give the people what they want because you guys can't give the people what you want. I don't even think KSI had something to do with this. I think it was the other motherfucker. Shame on you. You are sad. You're going out bad. And now I'm gonna really clown the fuck out of you. Because guess what? I wasn't even trying to clown you. I was trying to be on some friendship. Okay? But you wanna sue me? So let's fight. Let's go to war. I can't fucking wait. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'll be posting everything on my uh, I'll post everything once I uh, get to my warehouse and show you guys the paper. They served me. Let's fucking go to war. Um, I can't wait. My uncles, my uh my, my cousins, my Jewish lawyers are already ready. Uh, once I send this paperwork. Yeah. Recently. I recently heard a statement a few days ago. Uh, Emily, Emily Willis. What is... Apparently she, she was in the hospital or whatever. Like a month ago. Yeah, Aiden, Aiden even talked about her, too. Uh, they oh, shit, chat. Porn star Emily Willis was hospitalized in critical condition after OD. Damn. Yo. Prayer in the chat. You never want to see this chat. Um, Hope she's okay. Hope she recovers well. Yeah, bro. That's... Fuck drugs, bro. Literally, fuck drugs. Emily. Well, that's not, not blunt. Emily, Emily, 
Emily Lewis, right? Yeah, th this is what I heard about. Um, the check Timothy, they probably got more up to date information. Prepare for the worst. This shit crazy. She like 25 also. Um, prepare for the worst. I'm gonna read the updates later, but, um, are you updates? Alright, so she's famous though. This is how she looks. She's in critical condition from her hospitalization. Last month, in fact, we've learned she hasn't regained consciousness. Her father um, tells TMZ his daughter is currently in a coma, unresponsive at the hospital, but has stabilized a bit in comparison to the state when she was first admitted in early February. It is not much, so. Sorry. Um, while she isn't as bad as she was when she went in, we're told that the family is bracing for the worst. She's on the ventilator. Um, she was in rehab for eight days before she suffered. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she, so a lot of people believe that it was like she OD'd, but that's not really what happened, apparently. That, that, uh, what, what actually happened was she ended up going to rehab for her drug situation, I guess. Uh, and then she had, like, a cardiac arrest. I think that's a heart attack. I guess it's like... And then, I guess then she got sent to the hospital. And they found that her toxicology uh, was negative. So there's nothing in her system. So, so it wasn't an overdose that she had. Um, so... No, she, she's taking the ventilator shit. It was talking about uh, Michael. Is that the name? Yeah. So it's not really her father. It's her stepfather. But raised her as her own recalls. She wasn't even, like, really eating a lot before the rehab. She weighed only uh, 80 pounds when she checked herself in. So she was really not eating much, I guess. So we'll eat all that. LP and was very open about seeking help for her. Damn, it's crazy because sometimes it's like you think you, you have the chance to actually um, what's it called? Achieve that and, and get to that level, but it, it you know, it's hard, you know? It's hard. Because she probably thought, you know, I would go to Rhea and get better and then continue with my life and do better and stay off the drugs. And this is happening now. She's fighting for her literal life now. And she's been fighting for a month now, so it's crazy. They got a GoFundMe for her. Um, I think it was her brother. Yeah. <laughs> Has launched a GoFundMe to help cover her medical bills. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The reason why she's not because she's broken is it can't access the money in her funds. It's locked. Um, let me see. Launched the GoFundMe. Needs help paying bill, medical bills. Phone apparent. It's not actually ID. Um. Seven. Um. Well, I'm so What the hell is this? Old oh, fashioned room. Oh, hey, this is just, just. I thought it was an Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Dark hint. What's that about? Come on, let's go to this. I want, I want to see Eric go find me and what they've written over there. Well, my fucking internet is acting up right now. What's, what's her brother? Isn't that dark? Yeah. 
behind her overdose, but it's not really overdose, they said. Um, Yeah, this is her. She's in a coma right now. What did she say? Regarding the person, we want to clarify they are not accurate as far as the doctors and my family know. The only was receiving treatment and help she needed at the time of the incident to overcome her struggles. Um, what's he hinting at? She retired from the adult years ago and had aspirations of success in other fields of entertainment. Those who worked with her with a new career knew her potential to achieve her dreams. Once again, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, what's what's that? I don't see that. Is her page? I, I saw her. Let me see. Yeah, so on, on this page of hers, I guess this is more, her more private page. The GoFundMe is right here. So, 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 so. Yeah, so this is the GoFundMe. $42,941 was raised. Ninety six sixty thousand I guess. Oh, whoever this person is to the anonymous or Okay, that's cool. Well even with insurance they get coverage leave was facing. And they gotta pay this themselves because they can't even access her, her bank account where her career could have maybe her, her wait, wait, wait she might have had the Resources to pay for all this, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I came here to read all of it, but I'm not reading it. I'll read this. It seems like it's a poem. It, in winter's embrace beneath Capricorn's gaze, a brunette with fire through life's complex maze, her beauty, a beacon in night's deepest dark. dark her, her spirit a flame forever spark with courage as armor and grace in her fight she moves with her purpose her goals in plain sight her beauty not just in the curve of her smile but in her fierce will to conquer each mile capricorn's daughter both lovely in her heart there's a power where all dreams belong through challenges she chant dances with life she intertwines a testament to beauty and a strength that defines Whoa, you know. Um, we went to club right in our agreement. Oh, you call yourself Michael Willis or that? I can last it. I guess, okay, so that's her name from her. Her last father, or her mother, I don't know. Oh, that's her brother. It's a brother, right? My sister is a professional. I will suffer from her family. Okay, cool. Uh, not cool, but yeah. It is what it is. Sad, sad situation. But, you know. Oh, uh, let me see this. I think it's a trailer of a film that she was in. I saw it earlier, earlier today. Is it this? Let me see. It's not a video. I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this one, Divinity. Yo, am I bugging it? I literally was watched this earlier today. Yeah, okay. Reproductivity has been declining at a staggering pace. Right. This crisis has a name. Divinity. True immortality of both body and mind. Just the right size. 
Steven Soderbergh. Fit your pocket. Bigger. Stronger. Faster. Is death just an illusion? We're almost there, Father. Arucci is in there. I feel it. Corrupted by divinity. Who are you? We're saving you from making it so much worse. You don't know who you're dealing with. What have you done? So I guess she was trying to transition out of doing like these adult type films and doing more like film films movies because that's Steven that's a Steven Soderbergh movie until later. Um, yeah. Sad situation. Oh shit, chat. Porn star Emily Willis was hospitalized. Incredible. Okay. Hope she's okay. Hope she recovers well. Yeah, bro. That's fuck drugs, bro. Literally fuck drugs. Oh, that's 